we will use what is called the method of substitution. We can let u equal x squared. This will allow us to turn all the quantities that are x's in the original integral into u's. And hopefully the new integral is simpler to deal with. Let's talk about the limits. The lower limit is x equals 0. And under this transformation, we would have u equals 0. In a similar way, x is 1 would lead to u equals 1. Now it's a matter of turning these x's into u's. Let's take the derivative of this equation that defines the substitution. Writing it in differential form, we would have du is the derivative of x squared, or 2x dx. Let's rewrite this as du over 2 equals x dx. Now compare what we have in the box for the substitution to the integrand. First of all, the x squared there becomes a u, so we just have e to the u. The remaining quantities x dx match very nice, which would equal du over 2. Take the 1 half out of the integral, and we have a very simple integral. And this is the whole point of substitution, that the resulting integral should be easier to deal with. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. The limits are from 0 to 1. We evaluate this antiderivative at the upper limit and then the lower limit. e to the 1 is e, and e to the 0 is 1, giving us the final answer.